back in time for another lab prep. Um, today we're measuring liquid volume and we're, for that particular lab we're using um, graduated cylinders. They're called graduated because the numbers get bigger and bigger because they contain larger and larger amounts. They're measured in, of course, metric. So for this one, this gets up to 100 milliliters. This little baby one gets up to 10 milliliters. So it just depends on how much you want to, to measure out. Um, you do need to, first of all, when you get your graduated cylinders, determine what the little lines mean. The big lines go by five, so you've got five or 25, 30, 35. So that means that these little lines all have to go by one. So you have um, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then 30. That's different than what's over here. Over here, they're going by ones. Um, so in between, you've got to have the this 2.1 or 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, and then three. So you have to count a little differently when you use different cylinders. The way you weigh, um, the way you measure liquid in these is you just pour your liquid in to a, a, try to get as close as you can to the amount you want. So if I want maybe 80 milliliters, I have to be very careful. I have a shaky hand and it's, it's really, really a delicate job to do. So I'm going to pour and then maybe start to slow down when I get close to 80. And then I'll show you the trick of reading the graduated cylinder. I want to get as close to 80 as I can. And this is just a lot of practice. I've had a lot and a lot of practice in, in labs. Okay, the trick with reading the graduated cylinder is you must be at eye level. I can't be up here and go, oh, okay, that's 80 milliliters. I can't tell if it is or not. I have to get at eye level and look over and I can see straight over to that line where it says 80 milliliters. Now, the second trick about using this graduated cylinder is when you're, you're measuring some kind of water, water's going to show, it's a bubble that's there on top of the water and it, it caves in. And we need to look at the bottom of that bubble. The bubble's called a meniscus, and we always want that bubble bottom to line up with our amount. So if I need 80 milliliters, I need the bottom of my little bubble on that 80 milliliter line. This one, it's probably as close as I'm ever gonna get. And over here, I have really, really, really close to 10 milliliters. And again, when you're at eye level, it's a little bit easier to see. Anyway, that is the simple way to use the graduated cylinder to measure liquid. Remember, we're measuring in metric, so you always have to write um, your units behind that, which would be for these ML, and you can easily now do your worksheet.